Hey guys, Mila the Hangry Woman here and today I'm going to go through my February diabetes friendly grocery haul with you. It's going to be a little bit different than the last time. Last time I just kind of like held up items willy nilly and I was like, here's what I got. I got this. I actually went grocery shopping yesterday. I put everything away already. So it's literally going to be me going through my cabinets and showing you all of the things that I got from my grocery list. Hopefully I can remember them all because I have some stuff intermingled. I've got a lot of recipe development this next couple of weeks. So a lot of the things that I'm making are are kind of in tune with that and just you know really hoping to get those recipes done <laughs> and finalized in this next week and written um, I've got a lot of publication work which is really nice because I am on my own as you guys know now so it's a little bit different for me I'm taking on a lot more freelance a lot more partnerships um, not necessarily focusing less, focusing less on hangry woman but kind of shifting my focus a little bit. Um, obviously my blog and the things that I do are profitable and they make money and it's great and you guys are so helpful in that by watching my content and consuming it and creating my recipes and making them with me. Um, but I do have to take on just more different types of work just to be sure that I can sustain myself and right now that is a lot of partnership work and a lot of freelance publication work and sadly which is my favorite less recipe development for myself so I know last year we talked about my cookbook that is still in the works that is still coming I am still doing a lot of work with that um, but right now I'm just kind of focusing on getting things set up and sustaining myself. So I'm literally sitting on top of my island in my kitchen right now. You can see that I have some of my uh, stuff back here from filming. I was doing a little filming project earlier, but let me take you around my kitchen and I'm going to show you all of the things that basically I got for this round of groceries in February. Um, this is not the whole month. I probably will go shopping again, but this is kind of like the first round of groceries for stuff that I'm making. So before we get started though, even though there's a l I do such long winded intros, I'm going, I'm going to get better at that. I promise. That's my goal in 2022, get better at those intros. But if you like videos like this and you want to follow my diabetes journey and want to meet other people with diabetes, because plenty of other people with diabetes are a part of this channel and really follow and comment and have been so wonderful so if you want to be a part of that community be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe you can also join my channel as a member which will get you priority responses and comments as well as just another great way to support the work that i'm doing with diabetes or you can also join my patreon community which is a members only subscribers only community where i offer special perks as well as you getting to chat with me one-on-one -on -one. i offer sneak previews of my recipes as well as lots of other fun things like getting my cookbook for free as an ebook when it comes out so that's kind of fun right all right let's let's hop off the island and <laughs> go go get to this let's get it done okay we're starting in my pantry first so it's kind of messy in here it's like a lot going on but i've got a bunch of stuff so this week i'm doing some recipes um with quinoa quinoa is a great source of protein great rice replacement i would blog about rice replacements on my blog and um yeah quinoa is really great in terms of a high protein alternative that is still relatively healthy for you good grain to have i also have some pasta because i'm gonna make that tiktok pasta with some rotisserie chicken which i think is going to be a really fun recipe to make as well as let's see what else did i get in here i have some white beans so um i'm gonna use white beans in a really fun recipe that i'm doing with grains like basically a grain bowl the quinoa is a part of that so that's really good and then a lot of this other stuff i had kind of put in here because basically it was um stuff that i had been not that i had been using but just like stuff that was in my old pantry that i'm kind of like repurposing so you might see some stuff that looks familiar um i definitely got some walnuts so those are going to be a part of that grain bowl that i was talking about 
gonna be a really good source of protein, I think. Um, I got a bunch of nori sheets because I keep making that TikTok salmon bowl recipe. It is so, so good. I didn't mean to get like full on sheets of nori. One sheet though is only five calories and one gram of carbs. So I actually think this is better than the tiny ones that I was getting. Let me see if I have the small ones. Yeah, I do. So the small ones, I was getting these and I mean, 25 calories, for one package, which I think was like 12 sheets of nori. I think the bigger ones are gonna be better and I'm gonna be able to utilize them more. I just have to figure out how to store them because I'm a little afraid of um, <laughs> what might happen with storing them. So those are some of the things that I got. I got some black beans because I'm also gonna make uh, a tostada recipe. So the black beans are gonna be on there. And um, I want to say that's it from inside of there so we can move on to the countertop which has some good stuff all right there so we have some lemons because i'm going to use a lot of lemons this week some ginger a ton of avocados because you all know how i like my avocado toast and then some more lemons and limes these are pretty much left over from the last trip i also have a white onion back here and some bananas that are extremely ripe so i think i might have to make some banana bread because i don't really know what else to do with those <laughs> and then in the fridge you can see that my fridge is not the most organized but you know i'm doing my best with it so i have some tomatoes that i bought some tomatoes that i pulled off of my garden some green salsa that needs to get thrown out for sure um greek yogurt which is going to be a part of that bowl that i'm making i'm going to make like a yogurt vinaigrette i have some milk which is um a plant-based milk brand this is oat milk so they make other types of milk um, I'm not sure how sold I am on this one because I really like um, Oatly and I like uh, Planet Oat which is one that I have down here so we'll see what happens um, I have some vegetable broth because I'm gonna make my own veggie stock I also have a rotisserie chicken back here which is how I'm gonna make my veggie stock um, some chicken salad, snacks. I got some feta for that feta bowl that I said that I was gonna make. And then I need to get more LaCroix. I didn't get enough in this, um, this round of stuff. I also got some more kimchi. So you can see my kimchi obsession. I bought this one in the January haul and it is gone. <laughs> so there's just a tiny bit of kimchi left, but I love kimchi. So. We have a lot of that. I got a second one, which I'm really obsessed about. I should have gotten some more basil pesto. Um, don't know why I didn't, just didn't really think about it, but I do have to do a second grocery trip because a few of the things that I needed got forgotten. Um, so I think that's gonna be okay. And then down here, like I said, have my Planet Oat, which I really like. And then I have all of my insulin, which I didn't buy at the grocery store, but I do have all of it. And then down here is a bunch of produce, um, just some stuff that my garden hasn't grown so i did have some cilantro in there but i killed it um by not being good at watering it and then i have some shaved brussels sprouts as well as some herbs because like i mentioned i'm going to be making my own chicken stock for some soup later um so that's pretty much it for this grocery trip oh i have some eggs back here happy eggs are my favorite eggs to get so i have a ton of those and then like some leftover hummus and stuff from the last grocery trip and then lastly, I got some buffalo sauce because I'm gonna make a buffalo chicken pizza. Um, you guys will get a recipe for that. I think that'll be really fun to do. I also have some salsa that's gonna go with that tostada recipe and then some relish because I'm gonna make my own chicken salad outside of the chicken salad that I bought. So I'm obsessed with chicken salad. Like it's so good to me. And then I don't know how I forgot this, but I got salmon. So for my more salmon bowls that I'm making, <laughs> I got salmon as well, which delicious. I find salmon so, so tasty. Um, so I'm eating a lot less of like meats and going more for fish and lean proteins. Um, so like not really eating bacon as much anymore, or lots of pork, like I'm kind of like phasing it out, um, just healthier overall, less sodium, less salt, and trying to cook more of my meals at home because I got to save money now. 
but that's it for my grocery haul you guys thank you so much for watching um i think last time i got questions about how much i spent on groceries this particular trip was 145 dollars and 30 cents i did grocery pickup at my local grocery store so i think the prices are like slightly marked up so that doesn't look like a lot for 145 dollars but i also was buying a bunch of new things that i needed to replenish my kitchen and i have tons and tons of stuff to work with in the recipes that i'm already going to make that I didn't have to buy like different sauces different um you know all kinds of different stuff that typically you would have to utilize and make but I didn't because I have some leftovers from my old pantry so it does seem like a high grocery bill high grocery trip but also remember that I cook for myself in terms of recipe development so I tend to buy groceries that I'm going to develop recipes for rather than things that I actually would eat <laughs> on a daily basis because my work is cooking and typically I don't get reimbursed for some of the ingredients that I buy so I end up just making sure that I make the recipe well <laughs> the first time so that I don't have to deal with wasted food. Um, and then I also share food with friends and anyone who will eat what I give them. So um, that's it for this video. Thanks so much. Let me know in the comments below how much you spend on groceries for your family. I did have a conversation about this on Facebook and it was very interesting to see the responses and see what people are spending and what their family sizes are as well. So for you know myself alone, I budget $400 a month for groceries and that includes both what I'm recipe testing for the blog, recipe testing for kind of like my overall work stuff and then also just the general things that I need to get like toiletries and stuff that I like to drink and all of that so curious about what you're spending and I always think it's an eye-opening ex experience to ask so I'm asking you to leave it in the comments but that's it for this video I will see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching bye take care of yourselves